Excellent, Musa Zimper. It's a great pleasure to be with Aidan Nelson, a Senior Minister at Riverview Church. Hi, Aidan. Hi, Ava. So, Aidan, uh, tell us more about Riverview Church and your role in church life. Certainly. Um, my role at Riverview Church is a Senior Minister, and we're a very large uh, contemporary church in style that's located in Perth, Western Australia. Uh, so there's about 5,000 people who call Riverview Church home and across any given weekend uh, we have five services. Uh, so it's a very busy, very vibrant place. But our style is very contemporary, uh, but we are a Christian church. So everything we do, we exist to really point people to Jesus, to introduce them to Jesus and really come to an answer to that question. So you are a big family. We are a very big family. <laughs> So which are the activities, which kind of activities um, really church runs through the year and mm. what targets too? Mm. Yeah, there's, there's like so many things happening which make it such a vibrant community. Uh, we recognise people are in different seasons of life um, and different stages of life. And so we have events that are targeted to particular age groups. So we have a very vibrant uh, children's ministry area, mm -hmm. uh, high school, so about, um, I suppose, about 13 year old up to 17 year olds, and then young adults, uh, all the way through to seniors. Uh, so it's wonderful. And we, we tend to create uh, three types of environments. Uh, one environment is a very large environment, which is our weekend services. So, you know, sometimes more than a thousand people are gathered at each time. And we really, there we just share an encounter, we share an experience. And then we have like a medium sized environment as well where the activities are really around some interest that people share. Mm -hmm. It might be to become a better parent, maybe to become, have a better marriage, uh, or to learn more about a part of the Bible. On specific, on specific topics as well. Very much. So we do training and all sorts of classes for that. And then we have a very small environment. Uh, this is our what we would call a connect group. It's a small group of about 10 or 12 people. And they're really just doing life and faith together. They would meet regularly, probably weekly or fortnightly, and just share life and walk alongside and help to live life fully and live life well. Right, so it's a, it's a real view, it's for everybody. Absolutely. And everybody in different stage of life. Yes, you don't need to be a, a follower of Jesus. You don't need to believe in God even to have a place at Riverview because we would say that you don't need to believe what we believe to belong. So it's really a place where you can explore things of faith, you can explore the Jesus question and hopefully in the environments that we create you have access to the information you need and then you can make a decision as to what you actually think about Jesus. Yeah, that's, that's very interesting, having mm. friends and share experiences together in, mm. in a part of life. Yes, and it's a lot of fun. Yeah, yes. yeah, of course. So Adam, what do you think is the Bible? Well, certainly the Bible is a book. It's a collection of writings that have um, covered an enormous period of human history. But um, we believe, in fact, the entire Christian church believe and have believed for millennia that um, it is a record of genuine people. They were human authors. There was a Moses, a Peter, a Paul, a John. But we believe that as the human authors wrote, uh, God spoke through them. So that when I'm reading the Bible, I am reading actually the Apostle Paul's writing. Yeah. And he was a very gifted, very a great intellect, um, and it's all of him engaged. But at the same time, as I'm reading Paul, I'm also hearing the voice of God. So we believe the Bible, it's more than just a book. We believe that it actually needs to be treated with respect, because we believe God is inspired. His voice is heard through it. So we approach it to really hear from God, and to hear what he wants of us and desires of us, and how we can respond to him. So it's an amazing thing, and you can you can study it and read it for decades and still discover more. Yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. So how I can use the Bible? So mm. I need to read it. So what me like like how I can use the Bible every in my everyday life? I think um, it's very very healthy and helpful to read it every day. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, we've done something here at Riverview Church where we created a Bible reading program. Mm -hmm. And it's something that people can access on their smartphones or in the tablets or on their computer. And we just call it Bible View. Okay. From Riverview Church, it's Bible View. Mm -hmm. And every day, um, many thousands of our people um, read two chapters of Scripture. And there's uh, some observations and applications. So what difference does it make in our life? Mm -hmm. And then there's even a prayer that we provide. And it's just a really helpful daily discipline 
that helps us to connect with God, but also in a very practical way, hear from God, and what does that mean living now in the 21st century? Yeah, that's very interesting, because you can read a, a verse uh, before going to bed or in the morning, mm. and it's easy, you know, on the phone, so yes. you can get inspired a bit. Yes, it's very accessible, it's good. That's excellent, mm. excellent. So, um, Aidan, um, you know that um, Excellent Gusto uh, talks about food, food mm. as a way to express territories, and uh, food also it's a way to stay all together connected, so to mm. socialize, uh, because we, we think that uh, food uh, it's a, an element of union between people from different mm. cultures because all of us has to eat to survive. Mm. So how is food seen in the Bible and which is its meaning? Well, I think food, food is a very prominent place in the Bible. In fact, it's very interesting to realize that the very first miracle that Jesus did uh, was done at a gathering, a wedding, where food and drink was being served. So Jesus was someone who absolutely would engage and have conversations with people around food. It was just a part of what he did and it was a part of the culture then and I think it's healthy that we reflect that because I know here at Riverview Church uh, we love food, we enjoy conversation and community, um, so we love having coffee and enjoying food together and because we're such a multicultural church there's people here, even though we're in a very isolated part of the world, we have people from all over the world mm -hmm. uh, who gather here. Yeah. So. It's wonderful that um, food has been something that we share in common and it's just created great community. So it's got a very big priority in scripture and I think it ought to have a big priority in church life. Oh, that's perfect. So excellent. Musa said the same. Very happy that oh, you know, we share that as well. That's good. <laughs> okay. So last question for mm. you. Um, so, you know, we have religion and faith. Mm. So do you think there are differences are the same? What do you think about this? Yeah, I think there are some very important differences. Uh, when people think of religion, they tend to think of, of ritual and rules. Mm -hmm. Um, whereas faith is something very distinct. Um, following Jesus is actually all about a relationship rather than religion. And so Jesus is not some, just a group of ideas. Jesus is a person. And so when you come to Christian faith, you're actually making a decision, I'm going to follow that person, Jesus. And so it's far more. Religion is all about rules in many ways. Whereas faith is actually a living, vital lifestyle. It's actually something that involves all that you are. In fact, the Bible talks about, or uses the word worship. And worship is actually, an, it's an all of us response to God. So worship can be singing, it can be praying, it can be serving. Uh, every part of our life is a response to God. And that really is faith. Faith is something where you're trusting your present and your future into this person named Jesus. And it's really that's what faith is all about. It's a trust in a person. Yeah. So I think, it, you know, like... What we said is that Bible is it's a lifestyle, so mm. to to follow. So it's a decision that you can make, and uh, I think that going to review it's a good way to share your choice and to making new friends. So I really mm. I, it's I kind of you to say so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you so much, Aidan, and uh, I can't wait to attend uh, one of the review church services. Very kind. Thank you so much for having me. It's thank been you. an absolute pleasure. Bye.